Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. So this is a quick no-calorie dipped protein bar. This is 210 calories. Um, this has 7 grams of fat, 9% of 3 grams of sugar, fat, 15% of 210 milligrams of sodium, 9% of 27 milligrams of calcium, 2% of 4 milligrams of iron, 20% of 70 milligrams of testing, 2% of This It says 23 grams of carbohydrates, 13 grams of fat, 46%, 1 gram of sugar, no added sugar, 6 grams of sugar alcohol, so it gives you 4 net carbs, 20 grams of protein, 20% of value, and this is, not, this is vegan, as there is no, um, it's no cow, so it's, no, um, plant protein, it is gluten free, non-GMO, it doesn't say it's vegan on here, but, yeah, oh, it does, keto friendly, vegan, soy free, so it's no soy protein. So it is soy free. I would, I figured soy might be a vegan, but or non. But they do choose to say soy free on here though. Or soy or whey protein. They don't have soy or whey though. They just have plant based. Um. So this is brown rice protein, pea protein, soba corn fiber. Chocolate liqueur, erythrol, vegetable protein, pea, and canola. Um, this has cocoa butter, which is better for you, which is a better butter for you. Sunflower protein, vanilla extract. That's what the chocolate corn goes with, made with cocoa butter. And glycerin, almonds, it's the same as source palm oil. Natural flavors, cocoa power with process with a key. So salt, and has erythrol, stevia leaf, um, fruit, and water. So it does contain almonds. It's processed and common sauce, it's processed peanut, soy milk, wheat, wheat, egg, and other peanuts. So we put that in there. So, manufactured for no calling. LC Denver car. So that's pretty cool. I like, I mean, I've done a review on the one these before in the past. I did the um, the um, chocolate fudge brownie. So this is the sea salt. I have half one here. It has chunks of sea salt right here, as you can see. It has good chunks. It has big chunks of sea salt. And it has current chocolate. Let's go try some. It's good. It's good. This is good. This is good. I like it. It has a nice chocolate flavor. This has a sea salt flavor to it, but... The sea salt flavor is kind of mild, though. I mean, there's a little bit milder, but it's not bad though. It's not like an overpowering sea salt flavor, but it's not like super, super strong enough to like kind of. It's just strong enough to taste it a little bit, but it does kind of get blended in with the chocolate. Oh, but now the sea. Oh, now the sea salt's kicking in. He can definitely like smell the sea salt. Now he can definitely taste the sea salt after a chocolate wears off. That is not bad. I actually like it. I'm gonna give that a. That's actually good. I'm gonna give this one an eight point five out of ten. 
I just wish the sea salt was a little more prominent mixed in with the chocolate. But it's not bad though. I actually, otherwise I'd probably rate about nine and a half. So until next time, take care.